let's jump to talking about the TPAC framework. Uh, it's a really different way of looking um, at how technology is being integrated. Um, and, you know, Kelly, when we were talking, we got in planning this, I really like this discussion we got into how SAMR does feel like a linear model, like you have to do one thing before the next and then the next, which is not really true um, at all uh, because you could, you know, tomorrow you could, without knowing too too many technical details, you could get into doing shared discussions and things like that. Um, but it feels somewhat hopelessly linear, <laughs> even though it's so useful. And uh, TPAC is pro probably the, the opposite of that. Um, mm -hmm. It's uh, You often see it in a Venn diagram format. Here we put it in more of a target format. Um, and I like this. Maybe it suffers from the opposite problem of you. it can be hard to know where to start. But could you give us uh, an overview of TPAC? Yeah, it's interesting. Um, you know, we saw in the poll that we had a much more, I, I would say a great number of people that were comfortable with SAMR and maybe fewer that had, had experience or were using TPAC actively. Um, typically, you see TPAC represented, kind of the official graphic is three circles that all intersect in the middle, um, like Bradley mentioned, the Venn diagram. And, one of the things that I think is really important about looking at the TPAC model versus SAMR is that um, SAMR is very, very useful, but something that I think sometimes gets ignored is this idea that technology has to be layered in and layered over uh, content knowledge and pedagogy. And so what's strong about the TPAC model, in my opinion, is that it kind of forces you in your planning when you're thinking about an activity to make sure that all three of those dimensions are represented and given some attention and some in, some I guess deliberate thought around instead of just well this looks like a cool tool you know kids can do all kinds of good stuff with this it kind of forces you to call out what standards you're trying to address and then knowing those standards and knowing that content what's the best instructional strategy that we have to help kids actually learn that and show what they know and what is the best technology tool then that would layer on top of that? The thing that Bradley and I actually mentioned was that the like the official TPAC um, model has technology as the top circle. Um, my theory is it's because it was the way to make a good acronym um, to start with the T for TPAC. I don't know if that was the real reason, um, but I've seen a lot of people who have actually written blog posts on not liking that the technology is at the top because that gives it maybe a, a weight that it shouldn't have. So you'll notice that in the, you know, Bradley's redesigned TPAC graphic, uh, we have technology there, but it's at the bottom because that's, it's sort of, it, it undergirds really what's happening with content, with, with uh, pedagogy. 